I can't do this no more. It's hurting me more than it's helping. And I think I'm done. I quit. I've been doing this for, let's see, I'm 45. I started smoking at 11, 34 years. I think I'm done. You don't control me. I, uh, come to the realization I'm done I'm done with smoking yep I'm gonna quit I quit obviously not cold turkey but I've convinced myself I've quit I've tried in the past I know I know I've tried in the past However, I was never fully committed. I am now. I'm done. Why now, you might ask? Well, health issues. I haven't been to a, a, a doctor, a physician in a long time. And um, I think I need to uh, go see one. I don't know if you could see it, but my thyroid is quite swollen. And I feel like I'm choking. I constantly feel like I have a tight tie-on. <clears throat> and if you can see the scar here, I've had issues with my thyroid before. I had calcium deposits taken out of my thyroid about 20 years ago, 20, 22 years ago, something like that. And well, this is similar to that. I'm starting to feel things while I swallow, like a lump in my throat, right below the Adam's apple. So I'm done. Not cold turkey, but what I have been doing for the past couple days and will continue to do is to smoke a third of it at a time. My normal routine is to smoke a whole cigarette one an hour. That's what I normally have been doing. Well now, I'm smoking one third every hour. And then I'll relight it so it's one cigarette every three hours. Eventually, I'll go to a quarter cigarette every hour. So then it's one cigarette every four hours. And hopefully by January 1st, I will not even light a cigarette. No, it's not a uh, New Year's resolution. Let's face it, who actually, you know, does a resolution? Who completes it? You know what I'm saying? I've never done one, so I'm not even going to try now. If I am still smoking come January 2nd, oh well, that's fine. Pat myself on the back 
because I'm still going to keep trying. If I'm smoking a cigarette come January 2nd, it doesn't mean I failed. It just means I got to keep, keep, keep trying. Every night when I go to bed, I empty this year ashtray. So I know how much I smoke during the daytime. It's now night and the ashtray only has three and a half cigarettes. That means I've smoked three and a half cigarettes all day today. <sighs> but I just wanted to let you know that I think I'm going to quit. I am though going to be going to see a, phys a physician soon. Like, I want to make an appointment here within this week. Because, uh, even right now, I feel a lump in my throat. And it's annoying me. Even if it's just another calcium deposit in there, I'm going to have to get it removed. Or, it could just possibly be what was it, uh, an, a swollen gland, which just means that uh, antibiotics will bring it down. But whatever the case is, I'm still going to quit smoking. I don't want to follow my dad's footsteps out of this world. My dad had kidney stones. I had kidney stones. My dad lost his teeth. I lost my teeth. My dad has had a lot of calcium in, in his body, kidney stones and all that shit. I got a lot of calcium. That's why, you know, calcium removed from my thyroid. And well, my dad died of esophageal cancer. Esophageal, esophageal. He died at age 62 of esophageal cancer. I don't want to follow his footsteps out of this world. So, uh, you don't control me. I'm going to be done with you once and for all. Mark my words. Mark my words. Thanks for listening. Peace. Cause this life